Okay, so we agree. Whenever someone takes us off topic, they get their arm hair yanked off. And I really can't let that happen, or the girl who does my eyebrows will think I've been cheating on her. All right, now, one benefit of quantum coupling... Wait, little is... question. Who decides if someone's gone off topic? I think it'll be pretty clear. If not, we'll take a vote. Oh, also... Ow! <laughs> didn't vote. We didn't have to. That was clearly a tangent. Now, come on, back to work. If we're leaning towards quantum coupling, then we should... Ah, why? You said quantum coupling. That made me think of the show Quantum Leap. That's a tangent, and it's your fault. That's ridiculous. Sheldon, I vote that is not a tangent. Yeah, thank you. And now I owe you one. Ow! That was your fault. Hey! <laughs> that is a lot of hair. <laughs> And now I'm going to hear it from Jenny. <laughs> Everyone stop. This was a stupid idea. Negative reinforcement isn't working. I think you mean positive punishment. Negative reinforcement is the removal of a positive stimulus. It's a common mistake. Negative reinforcement is really wrong? Well, it's used incorrectly all the time. Even Bill Murray makes that mistake in the first scene of Ghostbusters. No way. Not Bill Murray. <laughs> I'm studying the effect of negative reinforcement. On ESP ability. Huh. Bill Murray did get it wrong. <laughs> Jump ahead to the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. No! Yeah, what, yeah. <laughs> Leonard's right. We can't just jump ahead. We have to watch the whole movie. <laughs> so, as Hannah Montana, <laughs> Miley was a world famous pop star. But then she would take off a wig and go to school like a normal girl, which I don't have to tell you at that age is its own headache. <laughs> That's preposterous. How would she go unrecognized just by wearing a wig? But you're okay with Superman concealing his identity with a pair of glasses? He doesn't just put on a pair of glasses. He combs back his curly cue and affects a mild-mannered personality. You guys doing okay down there? I told you to use the walkie-talkie. You guys doing okay down there? Please keep this channel clear for emergencies. Thank you. I'm going to the vending machine. Do you want anything? This is a simulation. We have to survive on the supplies we brought. Okay, just checking. We should have asked her to get some Funyuns. <laughs> You're not going to have Funyuns when we're a mile below the surface of the Earth. What if we brought them down with us? We'll take some Funyuns. <laughs> anything else? Some York peppermint patties, a couple of Dr. Peppers, and run to Best Buy and see if they have a portable DVD player and season one of a show called Hannah Montana. Have her get season two. Season one, it was still finding itself. Next game, let's switch helmets. No, I'd look silly in that helmet. <laughs> Sheldon, can I come in? I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? According to an online message board, I may be having a panic attack. Soccer Mom 09 had similar symptoms. <laughs> but to be fair, the twins were real handful that day. You're making me worry. What's going on? What's going on is we're about to go to a prom. And there's a great deal of pressure on young couples like us to engage what Mr. Bob Eubanks called making whoopee. What pressure? All I said was you look handsome. Can you please open the door? It's not just that. Leonard and Penny also made comments about it. And I'm not blind. Even I looked twice when I saw my posterior in these tuxedo pants. Can I tell you something? This whole thing with Raj's parents just got me a little worried about us. What are you talking about? We're fine. And Raj's parents probably split up because of Raj. What? Well, they always say the children aren't to blame, but <laughs> come on. I'm not joking, Howie. You heard what he said about his parents. It was the little things they kept bottled up. I don't want that to happen to us. Well, how can I convince you it won't? Oh, is there anything about me you're keeping inside? <laughs> I'm not answering that. It's a trap. 
So there are things you don't like. And here I am in the trap. <laughs> okay, I, you just keep talking. I'm gonna chew my leg off. Just tell me one thing that bothers you, and I promise I won't get mad. Okay. Truth is, sometimes you're too beautiful. Really, be serious. Okay, okay. I really don't like how your wings poke me when we sleep because you're an angel. Okay, fine. Maybe it was a bad idea. I just don't think the secret to a happy marriage is going out of our way to criticize each other. Although, there are ways to improve our communication. One thing I learned when I was in couples therapy was... Who were you in couples therapy with? Not important. Was it your mom? Not important. It was your mom. Anyway, the therapist had us tell each other what we loved about one another. Oh, that's so sweet. I want to do that. Okay. Okay, um, I love that you make me laugh. Thank you. And I love that you're strong and independent. And yet I still love when you hold a door for me. I love that I'm kind of a slob around here and <laughs> you're okay with that. Uh-huh. And I love that I work and do all the cleaning and you're okay with that. See, Damn, isn't this great? <laughs> well, my little flag cateers, it looks like the last episode of Fun with Flags is at an end. If I could, I would run each and every one of you viewers up a flagpole and salute you. <laughs> and if you touch the ground, burn you. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to personally thank Dr. Amy Farrah Fowler, who you may or may not know is the first woman to co-host a flag or banner related internet infotainment show. Take that glass ceiling. And if I may get serious for a moment, hosting this show has been one crazy ride. Uh, with all its ups and downs, I wouldn't give it up for the world. Except for now when I'm giving it up. <laughs> Before I sign off, I'd, uh, I'd like to share with you all one last use for a white flag. It's good for times like this. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Cut. Sheldon, that was beautiful. If you didn't press re- I pressed it! <laughs>
Honestly, seriously, you, you were just gonna drive away. Like, my life isn't hard enough right now. But a space probe might be destroyed. My parents are going through an awful divorce. The guy who cuts my dog's head just gave her bangs. Raj. Well, you saw she looks like Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber. Raj, you just got a text. The probe turned on, it's fine. Oh, good. Namaste, Grandpa. <laughs>